Hello, today we are going to see how to configure or create Google Maps API using Google Cloud Console. So for that we have to open Google Cloud Console. Okay, for that just uh, type console.cloud.google.com. So if you haven't already logged in then it will ask you to log in. Uh, if you already logged in then it will directly uh, open the uh, console. Okay. So this is the Google Cloud Console. First of all, if you just try to create a uh, new project, okay, this all arrive already existing things. Just click here uh, for that. I'm creating new project. Uh, my project name I'm going to change as um, Google Maps demo. Okay. So like this, I am creating the project name. So just I'm creating it. Yeah, if you see here, it will take a few seconds to create. It is creating still. It has been created. Now go here, uh, just click. It will show you all the list of uh, projects which we already have. Just click on the Google Maps demo so that it will open the dashboard for uh, our project okay now I am going to uh, I mean configure the Google Maps APIs for that you just have to click on the navigation menu okay the left side here you if you come down then you will find out API and services option over here uh, you have to uh, click on the library okay here what you just have to do is you just need to search for maps. Uh, here I've already have maps. Just click on the view all maps. We have to note down all the uh, APIs which uh, for Google Maps. If you wanted to use, you need to uh, enable five APIs. Okay, those are directions and geocoding, geolocation, and then uh, now here I am uh, typing for. Uh, sorry, I'm creating for website, right? So for that you need to enable maps JavaScript API and Now uh, you see these five APIs you need to enable one by one. Okay, so directions geocoding geolocation maps uh, JavaScript API and then places API. So I list on all these uh, APIs in the description box as well You can uh, directly see the list of APIs uh, which we have to enable for Google Maps Okay, so first I'll uh, try to right click on it and then open it in a new tab directions API and then geocoding API as well as geolocation API as well as maps JavaScript for API. Okay, and the other one is what we just have to go to, yeah, places API. Click on the right. Now see three, five, five, total five APIs we have to enable it. Okay. First I'm going to enable Maps JavaScript API. So once it is enabled, then one by one we have to enable all the APIs. Yes. Uh, now all the APIs have been enabled, uh, whatever I listed out, right? The five APIs, those are. If you wanted to recheck, just go to the navigation menu and then uh, go to API and services, then just see enable APIs and services. Okay, so that uh, we will get all the overview of uh, what the APIs have been enabled till now. Let's check once. Just come down. Yeah, if you see here, whatever I have listed out five, right? So places API, maps, Java, uh, script API, geocoding, geolocation and uh, directions API. Okay. So these five APIs have been enabled. Okay. So now uh, what you have to do is you just have to uh, go to the navigation menu and then APIs and services. Go to the credentials. Okay. You have to create a credentials for that particular API. For this, you just click on this plus icon, create credentials, and then API key. Okay, now we are going to create an API key. Uh, you see here, 
this is API key which is uh, like uh, anybody can use it. If you wanted to restrict then just here uh, click on edit API key. Uh, it's better always try to restrict our API key. Otherwise anybody can use your API key so which is not a uh, good one. Now I'm going to uh, creating this API key for website development so that um, see uh, restrictions were two types like one is application restrictions and the other is API restrictions. Okay. Now I'm uh, going to uh, restrict this uh, API key for uh, website. So I'm just clicking on the HTTP referrers. Okay. Websites. I'm sorry. Yeah, this one. Uh, now if you come down here. Add an item. Click on this. Uh, I'm just creating uh, anything like uh, for which your website it has to be restricted. Best tech learn. Okay. Mm, dot maps. Something like that I'm giving. Okay. Now if you come down then you find done. Okay, just click on that. After that, you just try to save it. Oh. Now you see here uh, a green button appearing, which means your API has been created. Now if you see here, it is showing the key as well. You can use it um, anywhere, wherever it is your uh, required this key in. I mean Google Maps if you wanted to use there uh, in that particular websites you can use it. You can configure this key so that you can use a Google Maps. Okay. But uh, for this uh, you have to pay some amount after. I mean whenever if you wanted to use it in any application that time you need to pay. for. Uh, otherwise for enabling Google Maps uh, libraries it is not required to pay anything it's, it, which is like a free. Okay. So I hope you people understood well uh, how to create a Google Maps API keys in uh, using Google Cloud Console. Okay, uh, I I think if you like video, please do like and subscribe to my channel and as well as comments. Leave the comments if you have anything. Thank you so much.